Hi everybody, this is Hina and welcome to another tutorial of Delinear Marketing and today we are going to create this sort of a stitch effect, uh, text effect uh, in our design. So if you are working on the digital prints or flyer posters or other sort of creatives, then you can easily apply this sort of design to just to create a highlight to your text or for to, for to create a strong call of action. So you can use the, the similar designs or if you are working on some other concept, then you can also use this sort of a uh, text effects so this is very simple and easy way to do so let's start now first of all what I'm going to do I'm just taking a simple rectangle here with this uh, 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 yellow color and this is the default color then you can take it from your CMYK palette and uh, this is uh, yeah, default uh, so for, if you want to work on the other colors as well then you can also do that this is up to you now the next thing that we are going to do I will provide some texture to this go into the effect and here I want to apply some greenish texture and to apply the texture, you can just preview it, how the texture will be formed. I want to keep the intensity of the texture is um, uh, on, high p on high pace. So what I'm going to do, I want to increase it to around 85. And it, now the contrast level will remain high. And you can also uh, uh, change the some drain type but I want to go with this soft one here you can but you can check it how it would be look like when you are working on the other uh, type of green so I want to go with the soft so I will go with these settings now press ok and it would be look like this after doing this now the next step that we are going to do go into the object and here you can choose the path and offset path I want to apply the offset of minus 15 pixels because I want to create an internal uh, very rectangular uh, outline so let's see how it would be look like so i want to go with these settings now and here you can just remove the third color and intact the stroke color to black and the stroke size is around three points and uh, now I want to create this stitch effect so I will go into this stroke here here you can find the dashed lines the checked it out and here you can apply the points of dash and the distance between them I want to go with the default gap of the points and with the this and the point size is currently five so I want to go with these settings here because it will provide a more realistic effect of uh, stitching if you want to increase it or decrease it then you can see that how it would be look like for example if I'm using the 15 points then you can see that it will be quite uh, you know uh, 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 bigger as compared to previous ones so I don't want to go with these settings I want to go with the five points so it would be look like that, this uh, when I will choose it change it and now before that uh, what I'm going to do I'm lock this locking this layer here by pressing ctrl 2 uh, so it will be uh, quite easy for you it will not distract uh, when working on the other layers so now I'm taking this text tool from here and simply writing a stitch here and uh, now you can simply create a uh, I have already used this font that is the Amarillo and uh, I, uh, uh, you can just download this font from the font.com it's a free font that you can easily use so I have already uh, downloaded from there so you can find it if you want to use the similar font and uh, now what I'm going to do I am going into the characters here and I want to apply some spacing between the fonts I think it's uh, are at the 200 uh, because it will create some distance between the characters so I want to go with the uh, 100 uh, percent so I will check it out so make sure that when you are doing this uh, and you are providing this sort of a stitching effect then your characters should not overlap with it with each other otherwise it will create a quite messy look in your design so now I'm going to create uh, outlines and uh, here just to scale the size of the text and keep it in the middle of your background and now what I'm going to do I'm just uh, removing this fill color from here and uh, uh, inject the stroke color to black and stroke size to around two pixels or look like this this is looking like 
this now now the next step I'm going to repeat the similar step that we have done here in the rectangle so I will go into the path and here offset path and I want to give it uh, around uh, you can preview it that how it would be look like uh, when you are applying these settings I will go with the three pixels so I will go with this uh, settings now and here what I'm going to do I just uh, ungroup it and selecting the inner layers like this press shift and click on the inner layers so you can easily select the lines now what I'm going to do I'm just cropping it so it will be quite easy for us to work around now I'm changing the color to it and here I want to go into the stroke here and applying 0.5 pixels here so it would be look like this so this is very simple and easy way to create the sort of a, you know stitching effect in your design and if you want to make it more thick uh, the upper layer of the text then you can also do that group it select it and group it and now you can increase the point size here for example i want to go with the fourth then you can see it will much thicker and uh, uh, quite uh, you know uh, visible in terms of readability so this is a very simple and easy way to do so if you want to apply these sort of effects in your design and uh, uh, it's uh, uh, just it, this is just a technique that i want to share with you thank you so much for watching and if you have any request or if you want that uh, any sort of text effect i have to create then you can also comment uh, to me so i will definitely uh, take time to design uh, that uh, effect and i will also create some other text effect as well in my uh, tutorial so thank you so much for watching and subscribe to my channel i will come back to another tutorial have a very good day bye, -bye.